You have probably seen a computer that looks like this. This is a Dell Optiplex 3020 SFF. And you can't go wrong with a Dell Optiplex. Except for the Dell Optiplex models from like around the time of the capacitor plane. Like the GX260 or something. I'll have to go look it up. Without further ado, let's get started with some history. So... Dell was founded in 1984 by a college freshman in Texas called Michael Dell. After years of success throughout the 80s and early 90s, his company, which was originally called PCs Limited but was renamed to Dell in circa 1988, according to the article I was reading about some of Dell's early computers, introduced the Dell Optiplex MXV in August of 1993. At around the same time, a similar line of computers that the Dell Dimension XPS was introduced, which lasted for not as long as the Optiplex because the Dimension is not around anymore. Initially, these computers were powered by 486 processors before moving to the Pentium processors in 1995. Fast forward to late 2013, and Dell released the Optiplex 3020. From the factory, it had a 4th gen Intel processor, memory capable of being upgraded to 16 gigabytes of RAM, and Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. This specific model was manufactured in July of 2015, and it came with Windows 7. I should note that this model was built around a week before Windows 10 was released, which makes its inclusion of Windows 7 a bit more interesting. Now, before having become a Dell Optiplex owner myself in July of last year, I have had memories of using Dell Optiplex systems. My school district had them after they replaced their Emacs systems back in around 2014. And while I don't have a lot of pictures I can show you because of the fact that most of my pictures of these things are in school yearbooks that I am not going to show because one, they are vandalized, and two, privacy reasons. However, I do have this very low res picture from 8th grade messing around with one of these because of the fact that they were water damaged as a result of flooding in our school back in 2021. Yeah, uh, the flooding was so bad that we had no school that day. However, I think it's time that we should talk about the actual computer. And let's start with the outside. Here we have the power button, a blank spot that you would probably use to put a disk drive in, two audio jacks, and two USB ports. Which isn't a lot that's going on on the front. On the rear, we have a display port, VGA, USB, Ethernet, audio jacks, and a power supply. Getting inside, just a real quick shameless PSA to use an anti-static wristband. Inside of here, we've got the hard drive, the power supply, the cooling fan, and the memory. Now, before we get this thing started up, I have a quick little confession to make of sorts. This PC was originally set up to be a, a bit of a showcase of, of a specific anime character called Nanami Madobe. So, if it's too much to handle, I apologize. However, we have a Windows Experience Index score of 4.9, which isn't as good as my Dell Vostro 230, ironically, which has a Windows 7 Experience Index score of 5.0. However, some of the various programs we have include Microsoft Office 2010, The Zune computer program, which is honestly something that seems really cool, and I might come back to this at a later date. We also have Microsoft Digital Image 2006, which I'm not going to go in to because I've already gone a tinge in depth about this application. Microsoft Small Basic. Microsoft Money 2006. Microsoft Encarta 2006.
That's generally gonna summarize the main load of programs. In terms of games, we of course have Peggle. Bejeweled Twist. Plants vs. Zombies. Toho 7. and Half-Life. Now there was another game that I wanted to try on here, however, it wasn't working. The game in question is Halo, as it was throwing this error at me, and it's apparently a problem that can be solved with a specific patch, which is a patch that I cannot get due to the internet archive being offline to an extent. So overall, this system is quite nice. Oftentimes you'll find these in quite a lot of places, and if you don't, then you'll likely come across something like a Think Center or one of HP's offerings. But, well, what else can I say? It's a Dell Optiplex.